feel like it's allowed us to be a little bit more um, proactive on our end. For instance, someone comes in, they're tested, they have a potential cognitive deficit. A lot of times we are just sending them the, to the neurologist and they were waiting three, six, nine months to see the neurologist where I feel like because we have a little bit more, what I call a specified test, we can do a little bit more of that further workup and potentially get them to the appropriate um, specialist sooner and start treatment sooner than we had in the past. Um, we utilize it in our practice in a couple of different ways. Um, a lot of times as part of the annual wellness visit, if a person indicates a concern about memory or cognitive deficit, we are pulling it in as part of that screening as opposed to utilizing the mini mental status or the slums. Um, but we've also expanded it to utilize in our practice for really any person who complains of a memory concern or a cognitive concern as either both a baseline to say, hey, it's not showing any cognitive deficit, but we have this baseline now, which we can retest you in certain intervals. Or we also utilize it as, um, hey, it is showing potential cognitive deficit and then lending itself to a further workup. It's very user-friendly in our clinic. Um, we allow the patient a quiet room to do it in, but access to the nurses, but I don't require my nurses to be in there with them um, kind of staring over their shoulders. So I feel like the concern about this is gonna to add to my workload hasn't really um, transpired. I like the ability that the patient can take it. It's We can get a report, we can review that report with the patient right there and then, or we can say, hey, we've got the report and we'll let, let, me, give, let me take a little time to review it and then I'll get back with you. So we've utilized it both ways. I think the initial apprehension was, is this going to number one, give us the information that we need and want. And then number two, what is the burden on us as far as a time constraint goes? And I will say very little, um, even in my patients who have significant cognitive deficit can get through with brain check within a 10 minute time frame. So it's not, um, you know, something where we're looking at hours and hours of testing. Most are done quickly. And then my staff is thankful because obviously then we've got the room space to, to proceed with our day.